hello my name is Lilia and welcome to my channel in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this cute lemonade braid style on my 40 hair without using extension so if you want to see that keep watching but first before we go into the video if you are not subscribed to my channel already make sure you subscribe right now hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos so without any more talking let's get into it What you need for styling are a rat to comb, your but any butter of choice, your hair shares, and your bottle of water. So this is what my hair looks like. My hair is actually clean. I washed my hair two days ago and put my hair in five, I think five to seven chunky braids. So I just unraveled the braids this morning before um, starting the style. So yeah, that's what we're working with. My hair is actually moisturized and but it's not wet or damp or anything like that. So I'm using a rattle comb to just make the major parts I'm going to be using them. Cutting, cutting out the bangs, the part that will like fall in front of my face. Um, so that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, the last time I posted a hairstyle tutorial, someone asked that I should show I, I should show when I, I part my hair. So that's what I'm showing this time around. This is how I part my hair. Like I dig the comb into my hair, like to draw the line or the pattern, and then I gently separate my hair along that line. Even though it looks like I'm experiencing a lot of pain as I'm parting my hair, that's not actually the case. Um, this is just my default way of positioning my face whenever I'm parting my hair with a rat tail comb. Although parting my hair with a rat tail comb, with a rat tail comb isn't quite painful. It's actually very time consuming. Um, and that's why most times I just use my fingers to part my hair instead of using a rat tail comb. So what I do is I dig the comb into my hair like, and then I just gently separate my hair along that line. So. I try to be very gentle so I do not experience um, unnecessary breakage. Um, so as, I'm, as soon as I'm done doing the major parts for the bangs, then I'm just going to go ahead and start uh, making the parts that I'm going to use for the individual cornrows. After bringing out the section of hair that I want to cornrow, I just gently separate my fingers. This is my way of combing my hair so that um, braiding is very easy so I do not cause too much breakage as I'm braiding so um, yeah the last time I posted um, a video that I did bangs many of you wanted to see how I actually do my own bang so that's why I decided to show you this time around like it just has to do with positioning your hair like and your hand in like a very good angle that you can braid so it's all about um, neck work <laughs> I feel like practice the more you practice the more you master how to do it um, at this point I can braid my hair I can braid bangs I can braid my hair like almost in any direction because I've been doing this for a very 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 long time like I said it's all about practice but I want you guys to be very careful when you're practicing because I don't want you to go and twist your neck and probably break your neck and come to say that I was the one that sent you to break your neck so um <laughs> at first like for the beginning stages like before you master it i recommend that you get someone to do it for you while you practice but just very careful as you're practicing so that you know twist uh, and break your neck in the process this is a very awkward angle um but i'm going to give you guys a better view of what i'm doing later on in the video so I really want to know if you guys can um, braid your own hair like me. Like, So let me know in the comment section down below. Can you do your own bangs or do you need someone to um, help you do your bangs? And um, if you can do your bangs, like, is there any direction that you cannot braid to? Like for me, I can braid in all directions. But braiding from back forward, like if I'm doing like the, uh, the reverse um, style of all back, like if I'm braiding all the way from back to the front, that's a lot difficult. So if I need to do something that has to do with me braiding forward, then I'm going to do flat twist because flat twist is easier for me for me to do. Or like what we call in Nigeria didi. That's like inverted cornrows. That's what I do if I'm braiding from the back forward. But in any other direction, I can braid my hair. I don't know why I keep saying braiding. But basically, when I say braid in this case, I'm saying I mean cornrows. So I can cornrow, cornrow my hair in any direction as long as it's not from the back to the front. From the back of my head to the front of my hair. So let me know down below. Is there any direction you cannot braid? Um, you cannot cornrow to. And if you're a pro, please let me know down below. So 
so for every corner that i do as soon as i'm done with it i go ahead and spray some water on the end and then i follow up with um shea butter so i spray some water and then i apply some shea butter on the end and try to coil it this i'm doing just to keep my hair moisturized because i'm going to be putting my hair in beads at the end of everything so that and when my hair is in beads it's very difficult be <laughs> what's wrong with me? when my hair is in beads it's very difficult for me to access my hair to moisturize it so i'm moisturizing my my end so that during the period that it's going to be in beads it's still going to be moisturized so along the line i, I discovered that the hair i brought out for the bangs was not going to be enough so i'm just like bringing out some more hair just in case i need more hair to make my bangs i ended up not using everything like for this for the bangs <laughs> you guys understand what i mean later on but i'm just bringing it out just in case so um i just go ahead and braid 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 until i'm done making all the bangs So this is what my hair looks like after making all the bangs you can see i did not use all the hair that i brought out so the next thing i do now is to start making um the rest of the hair so for the rest i'm just going to be starting from the back and then i'll be making um parting my hair in such a way that i make the cornrows slanting like to go all the way from one side of my head to the other side so i'm just doing it that way you can be creative about it and like do like some nice like variations to it but basically just make sure that your hair is going from one side of your head to the other side as you guys must have already noticed i did not bother to spritz my hair with water or moisturize it in any way before um starting to do the cornrows and that's because my hair is already moisturized i like i said before i i previously washed my hair and moisturized it. so at this point my hair is actually moisturized and you can see that it's really manageable um, so there's really no need to apply any more products to it um, that's why i did not so if you're starting on dry hair i recommend that you moisturize your hair first before you start manipulating that will just help to give your hair make your hair come out nice and to also help to reduce breakage as you're manipulating because we don't want to lose all our hair just because we want to do a particular hairstyle so yeah bear that in mind as you do your hair also i made sure that i cut um any scraggly ends and like knots and damages as soon as i noticed them even though i did not show in this particular video because i don't want the video to be too long <laughs> but you guys know i always cut my hair like whenever i style my hair like i showed you i always keep a pair of hair shares near me so that if i notice anything that should not be there like any scraggly ends or any knots or any tangle or anything that i cannot undo i just go ahead and cut it to prevent further damage After doing all my hair, this is what it looks like. Like it's so pretty, it's so cute. <laughs> I just like like how everything just went to the side. Um, so yeah, I'm just giving you guys a 360 view. Of course, I do not leave my hair this way because like <laughs> whenever I do cornrows, I just like if I'm not doing all back, then I'm just going to tuck it away. I like to insert my hair, put beads into my hair. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing today, or what I did. Um, so after inserting all the beads, this is what it looks like. You can see that it has a lot more like attitude and more vibe to it now that there are beads in my hair. And I feel like if you have fussy hair, using beads is just like just helps to spice up your hair. And also because our hair is like kinky and thick and it, it really shrinks. Like most times the beads do not actually give you more hang time. To be honest, not like it's going to stretch your hair in any way. Um, but it's going to appear that it's stretched because it's going to have a lot more body and a lot more movement and it's just going to give life to your style so that's why i always like to put these whenever i do um, my hairstyles 
whenever I do cornrows actually. To stop my hair from falling too much into my face, I ended up clipping it away with a bobby pin. Um, if you get, then I went ahead to spray some water on my hair just to help it set. I like to spray water. I spray some water and then I tied a scarf around it just to help it set because like. For my hair, as you guys can see, the one hair looks like the five hair. So if I want my styles to last longer, I do the method that I normally do whenever I, I set my puffs and my bun. So to just set my hair. So I spray some water and then I tie a scarf around my hair and just wait for a few minutes just to help it stay set. And this will help my style to last longer and to remain fresh for as long as I want. So yeah, this is what it looks like after tying the scarf. And this is how much hair I lost throughout the entire process of installing the hair so now i'm just taking down my scarf and like giving guys the reveal the big reveal of what my hair looks like like this style looks so 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 good and i have a total of just 14 cornrows so it doesn't take long at all it's very 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 easy to do and it's not really as time consuming as many other like protective styles that i've done before um so yeah if you guys want to see how i inserted the beads I already have a video on that on my channel to show you different ways to insert beads. So I'm going to link it up here in the cards and I'll also leave it in the description box so in case you want to see it. So yeah, with that we've come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in my next one.